It's a one pan pizza. Beautiful, delicious, simple and quick. And you can kill two birds with the one stone. First up for the pizza, we've got to make the dough. Get your flour, dried yeast and salt and mix together in a bowl. Next step, we mix our warm water, olive oil and yogurt together and then bring it together till a sticky sort of dough is formed. Tip it out onto your workbench and work and knead it for about two minutes till it comes together and is smooth. Place the dough in an oil-covered bowl, cover with a cloth or cling film, and leave it to double in size. Once the dough has doubled in size, we turn it out onto a floured workbench and pat it down with our hands. I then cut it into four, roll it lightly into four tennis ball sized shapes, cover it with the cloth again and then leave it for 30 more minutes. While that's proving, we're gonna make a quick tomato sauce. I take half tomatoes, season with some salt, dried herbs and olive oil, put them on a roasting tray with a couple of garlic cloves and then roast in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Next, pull out the tomatoes from the oven and get them into a blender. We then squeeze out the garlic pulp, season with tomato paste and blend to a rough sauce consistency. Don't worry, anything extra will freeze perfectly. Next up, it's time to start building our pizza base. So we take off the cloth, take one of the rounds, and we roll it about half a centimeter thick. Next, we're gonna get a non-stick pan on the heat. Make sure it's smoking hot, and then give it a good handful of plain flour. It's the best part, we're gonna build a pizza. So we get our dough, get it into our pan. Leave it for about a minute so it starts to cook on the base. Then we build it. A little bit of tomato sauce, not too much. And I'm finishing mine with some Irish made chorizo and some beautiful farmhouse cheese. So our pizza's cooking away on the heat here with a lovely crispy base, but we need to cook it on top. So at this point, we take the whole pan fire it under a smoking hot grill and leave it for about four minutes to cook on top. And to finish off, we give it a little drizzle of olive oil and some green leaves. Kids will be delighted. Not gonna lie, I'm very proud of that recipe. As you can see, delicious, really simple. Get the kids involved. Whatever toppings you want, your beautiful Irish farmhouse cheese, and even if you're by yourself, the one pan pizza is a perfect portion for one.